What's going on, everybody? This is Prime Time James Thomas coming to another video, and uh, tonight, today, I want to talk about uh, the the developing storyline that's gotten uh, that's gotten the wrestling world talking right now, and it, it is uh, the Liv Morgan uh, risking it all for uh, for Dominic uh, Bastille. And uh, first off, I just want to say what a hell of a life Dominic is living. I got to say so myself. Uh, but please be sure to hit that like, subscribe button. And don't be afraid to share this video as well on May 28th, 2024. And uh, yes, last time Monday Night Raw was a Memorial Day. Hopefully everyone had a great Memorial Day. And um and uh, last night was uh, Liv Morgan defending her newly won Women's World Championship versus Becky Lynch in a steel cage match uh, last night uh, due to uh, Becky Lynch being uh, granted an uh, automatic rematch clause. I just find it funny. This was a problem back in the 80s and the 70s when you make this a steel cage match where the whole point is that nobody can interfere, yet people always interfere. It's been that way since back in the day. Doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Um, so Becky Lynch and Ellen Morgan had their match, and it, it, it was what it was. I, I would personally say that their... Oh, excuse me. I would personally say that their... Uh, Queen of the King of the Ring or Queen of the Ring match was better, um, but but this it, it it was what it was. It wasn't really anything to write home about. Um, however, though, uh, the finish was very interesting. Where uh, once again, Becky Lynch had everything under control, and Dominic Mysterio once again shows up, and you're thinking to yourself. Dom, you screwed up the last time. Now is not the time. So he opens the cage door, and you visibly see Dominic telling Becky to come through the door. Like, come on, like, come through here, come through here. Becky, of course, wants nothing to do with Dominic Mysterio. And the whole time Dominic is out there looking stupid, you got Finn Balor and JD McDonough of the Judgment Day coming coming out and literally. Telling Dom, Dom, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Are you stupid? Are you dumb? And while they're going back and forth, Braun Strowman, because the running theme of Monday Night Raw last night was Braun Strowman was looking for J.D. McDonough, and he was literally running and chasing J.D. McDonough all throughout the show. Uh, no, running, looking for him. He finally found him towards the end of the show. So they are running around the cage. Dominic's still by the cage door. And when Braun Strowman comes through the cage door, he bumps into Dom. Dom bumps into the steel cage door, thus hitting Becky Lynch in the head. Thus giving Liv Morgan an opportunity to escape through the cage door and remain your women's world champion now there's a lot of speculation uh, about whether or not this is becky lynch's uh last match in wwe i'll do a whole other video on that um later on today um so dolly mysterio he's obviously angry he's mad at himself and Liv is walking up the stage and she crossed paths with dom and Liv Morgan is giving Dom that look. Now, I I am a, I am a man. A good majority of my subscribers are our subscribers are men, and we know that once women like Liv Morgan give us the look that she gave uh, Dominic, uh, we know what's up. We know what's about to happen. You better be prepared for you. You better you better, you better prepare yourself. Um, and then. She goes on. Well, well, first off, one WWE need, they need to do a better time. They need they need to do a better job at at time management. The reason why I said that is because, and this has not just been the Liv Morgan thing. This has been happening for quite some time now. Me and Mark always make a running joke that Triple H 
you know, is having a heart attack damn near every Monday and Friday because USA and Fox are adamant that this show ends at 11, 10 o'clock. Like, like, no overrun, no minute overrun. It just ends, right? <clears throat> and it, 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 it's kind of frustrating because you think with a three-hour show, they would know how to manage the time because if on the USA Live broadcast, you never saw the kiss. You never see the kiss. The kiss is literally cut from the original uh, on-air broadcast. The last thing you see before they go off the air is just them staring at each other. The kiss doesn't happen until like literally seconds after it goes off the air. So WWE quickly posted the clip um, on their YouTube channel. And and Liv Morgan went for it. She she went for it. She kissed him. She kissed Dom. She kissed Dominic Rhea Ripley's boyfriend on national television for the whole world to see. And I'm pretty sure Dominic had a very interesting, maybe some colorful language filled phone calls from Rhea Ripley after that. Um, and then Dominic had this look on his face like, like, like he's like he's perplexed. Now Dominic didn't try to shove her off. Granted, he has one bad arm, but he has another good arm. He didn't try to shove her off. Didn't try to fight it. He just took it. And Liv, judged by this picture and just watching the actual kiss in real time, she 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 went for it. And um, and that's how Raw ended. And the whole world is talking now. I will say that. One, Dominic Mysterio, what a life. What a life. For a good year, year and a half, uh, he's all cuddly and up close to Rhea Ripley. And literally last night, he made out with Liv Morgan at the same time being married. Dominic Mysterio is living the life. <laughs> um, but no, I think this is great. Um, Monday Night Raw, to me, has a couple of really strong storylines going right now. Um, you have this one and the one I'm really digging. That's the Chad Gable uh, storyline. I saw the segment when um, Gable threatened to whip uh, Otis to discipline Otis and Maxine Dupree was stopping him or whatsoever. Really digging the Chad Gable stuff. Really, really good stuff between them. Um, but as far as Liv Morgan goes, this is definitely probably the most interesting Liv Morgan has ever been in her career. This storyline, Liv Morgan Revenge Tour, is probably the most interesting Liv Morgan has ever been. And she did tell Rhea. She told Rhea, everything you love will be mine. She said that to Rhea. And now it seems like every week it's looking more and more true. Because Liv Morgan did cut a promo and say that the Liv Morgan revenge tour is not done. She's not finished yet. And I do think that she has her claws firmly inside Dominic Mysterio. Now, here's here's what I think the little twist is. Dominic is acting. I think Dominic is acting dumb. He's acting stupid. He's acting all bewildered and perplexed. I think that Dominic and, Re and then Liv have been working together this whole entire time. So that way, when Rhea comes back, and she has that match with Liv Morgan, at, possibly at a SummerSlam. Dollar's going to have to make a choice. Dollar's going to have to make a choice. I think that is when Dominic will turn on Rhea and, and Dominic and Liv will be two of the biggest heels in the company. Because Liv right now, she's still acting kind of like a babyface. But the heel tendencies are starting to show more and more.
It's kind of like the Drew McIntyre thing, where I know that's kind of been a thing in WWE lately. We are kind of getting these baby faces, um, but uh, they have heel tendencies, um, which are justified. You know, we had the Drew McIntyre thing when it was a slow build, but you understood why he was acting the way he was acting. Um, kind of got Bianca Belair when it comes to Bailey, where she'll never, uh, she'll never forgive Bailey um, for what Bailey has done to her with damage control. Now you have this, where you have Liv Morgan um, justifying planning getting her revenge on Rhea Ripley. And keep in mind, folks, people forget about this. This Rhea and, and Liv Morgan story, it's been an ongoing story for her since 2000, what, 22? Because remember, they were a tag team. They were a tag team. And then Rhea turned on Liv to join the Judgment Day. Then fast forward, Riv, L Rhea Ripley injures Liv Morgan's shoulder. So this has been an ongoing story. Like for the past, intentional, unintentional, it's been an ongoing story. And it makes sense for Liv Morgan's character to be this obsessed, to be this driven, to be this determined to ruin Rhea's life. Because you can make the case that Rhea ruined hers. And this is good. This is good stuff. Um, it's definitely making the anticipation for Rhea Ripley uh, come back even stronger. Um, she's going to get a big pop when she comes back. And, and people are going to want to see Rhea Ripley want to destroy uh, Liv Morgan because Liv Morgan has taken months off of her career, her title, and now it looks like her boyfriend. Hell, in the, she might even break up the Judgment Day in the process. So, I I, I, I dig I dig what they're doing with Liv Morgan and Dominic. Um, makes you look forward to see what to do, what they're gonna do uh, next week uh, with this. Uh, I think Liv Morgan in this role has been has been has been good. Um, the promos, the, the promos are what they are. Okay, she's not a strong promo, but with the character that she's going with right now, um, with the motivations of the character, um, it makes it a good angle for watch on a weekly basis. So I gotta get a little more than that. Um, and like I said, it's only makes anticipation to see Rhea Ripley come back even better. And um, and when Dominic turns on Rhea, ooh, that heat he's gonna get, ooh, gonna be something. So let me know, guys, thoughts. How you how you how you guys feel about the Liv Morgan uh, planning a nice wet one on uh, Dominic Mysterio? I'm pretty sure there's a lot of guys and a lot of in the fandom that are extremely jealous of Dominic Mysterio. And uh, you guys look make, are you guys looking forward to the Liv Morgan and Rhea Ripley feud eventually when Rhea comes back? Let me know. Let me know. You guys thoughts hit the like subscribe button, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.